It doesn't stop at video. You can also insert photos. If I click on the Photos tab in the media area, you'll see all of my photos that I've either taken with the camera or I've downloaded onto my iPad. This includes screenshots, things I've saved from Google, all of that will show up inside this photos category. So if I click on all, these are gonna be all of my different photos. I wanted to grab that still shot from earlier. I just tap on it, add it in. And what's great about iMovie, it automatically adds what's called the Ken Burns effect. The Ken Burns effect, it means that the photo itself looks like it's moving. It's taking from one area and zooming over to the other. Now you can control that Ken Burns effect. This is really useful to know specifically if you're doing it with a picture of people. It can tend to zoom in and out on different areas that may not be appropriate, so you do want to check how it's zooming first. If I tap on that photo, you're going to notice in the bottom right hand corner of the photo, we have a pinched position at the end and then at the beginning, and then the Ken Burns enabled, meaning it's currently enabled. So if I click on the beginning one, I'm going to pinch and line it up exactly where I want it. Perfect. I'm going to choose the end area and I'm going to pinch again. Maybe I want to go out like this. And so now when I go and play that, my zoom looks a little bit different. I'm, I again have that starting position and the end position in there. If I don't want Ken Burns at all, I just want it to be a standard still photo. I just click on where it says Ken Burns enabled and now it's just a standard photo for you. If I want to tap on that photo itself, I can zoom around just by pinching. So if I wanted to zoom it in but not necessarily have it move, I can do that with photos.